Welcome to Naratuki College Online Classes. In the previous episode, we already completed uh, some of the questions from Excel level to in such a pattern. So, in this today's episode, we will discuss the rebinding questions. So, in the last episode, we will complete up to question number 26, I think. So, we will see the rebinding questions from 27 onwards uh, in this uh, today's episode. You see, question number 27, we have. If the velocity of an electron in a first orbit of hydrogen is v, what will be the velocity of electron in the third orbit of uh, L at first? We want to compare the velocity with uh, hydrogen with lithium moment. So what formula we can use uh, for this uh, question we have? Clear? So the formula we have generally velocity proportional to z by f. Here they gave two different velocities. You will write this one v1 by v2 is equal to z1 by z2 into n2 by n1. This is the form. So v1 means what here? v1 is equal to velocity of hydrogen. That is given v1. So v2 is equal to this is a velocity of Li plus 2 you have to find. Okay, Z1 is atomic number of hydrogen that is equal to 1 only. Z2 is equal to lithium atomic number 3 only. So here N2 we have. What orbit of this gas here? The velocity of the third orbit of N2 is equal to 3, N1 is equal to 1 only. Okay, all the values are there. Let us substitute here formula V1 how much? V by you can write here V2 means question mark one and write this one V2 that is equal to Z1 1 Z2 3 into N2 we have 3 this is 1. So what do we get now here? 3 by 3 that is equal to 1 out. Now I am writing here V1 is equal to what do you get now? V1 or V by V2 is equal to 1 on A. Now I write here V2 is equal to 1 man. What is V2? Velocity of L plus 2. Velocity of L plus how much you got? V on A. So what is the answer for this question? You will take uh, option 1 from this question. So this is question number 27. Let us see the next question we have. The species has a its fifth ionization potential is equal to 340 volts ohm. What is the ionization energy formula? Ionization energy is equal to 13.6 into m square by z square electron volts ohm. This is the formula there. Sorry, z square by m square. z square by m square we have. This is the formula for ionization energy. So the ionization energy already given how much mass? 340 volts ohm. This 340 is equal to 13.6 into get a square by you will write n value on the first half So here, so what you will get by here? Get a square is equal to you will get a 340 by 13.61. So what is the value of here? 340 by 36 we have. You will get here a approximately 25 only. Get a square is equal to 25. So get is equal to what now? 5. Clear? So here, what is the answer? 5 we got atomic number. Atomic number 5, which is the correct one? B plus is there. B plus. Okay, it is ion only. So C plus is also ion. And B is there. Atomic number how much we have? 5 only. We are not taking any ions here because it is not a charge species here. Ions we are not taking. We are getting one here. Bora. One atomic number how much here? 5 hydrogen. Helium, lithium, barium, boron, boron, how much man? 5 boron. So, what is the answer for this question? Means uh, you will think that is equal to 5, that is equal to 5 for the which one? It represents uh, boron. Next, we can see question number 29. We have match the following only energy of the ground state of H plus so potential energy of the first orbit of hydrogen atom, kinetic energy of the second activated state of H plus atom, ionization potential of which one? Man? H plus atom only. So, we want to identify what are the correct answer for this one. The first one is given. What is the first option? Man? Energy of ground state of H plus. Energy of 
in the wrong state wrong state and so on the x plus 1 this is the first one is given so we have to use the formula nc is equal to minus 13.6 into delta square by n square so for helium that is not how much now to on the ground state that is here ground state means what we have you will write here that n is equal to 1 or may now you write e is equal to minus 13.6 into this is 2 square by 1 square minus 13.6 into 4 we have clear so we can multiply this one this is 24 and 2 we have uh, this is uh, uh, 4 we have and you will get a uh, minus 54.4 electron volts is there so, so we have to get the option 1 or the answer for this one minus 54.4 electron volts so, here this is the first option see the second option here what the second option is given by potential energy of the first orbit of hydrogen atom okay. so now you know here potential energy is equal to minus 2 into we have total energy this is the relation between potential energy and versus what man total energy only okay. so we can use the same form by here okay what you can do here potential energy is the same you can write here minus 13.6 into what you write man that is where by the answer now we can see here <coughs> so what happened here hydrogen atom only hydrogen atom means what you get man is minus 13.6 into this is 1 square by 1 square we have what you get minus 13.6 uh, but potential energy is equal to what man minus 2 into what one total energy this is minus 2 into what you got here <coughs> so if you substitute the values we get here what man this is uh, minus 13.6 only but here uh, potential energy for what here minus 2 into total energy this is minus 2 into you will write here minus 13.6 minus into minus plus we have can multiply this one what do we get man? this is uh, 2 forming how much it is uh, this is a 7 13.6 into 2 you will get a uh, 27.2 you will get here so what this is it minus uh, 27.2 electron volts so this is for the second option we have and go through the third option we have what the third option is given Kinetic energy of the second negative state of H plus O. So I will let third of here. Kinetic energy of second excited state. Second excited state of the one H plus O. Here, now we see this one. We have a different energy levels only. This is M is equal to 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4 only. Clear? Now we see electrons come from first orbit to the second orbit. And first orbit to the third orbit. First orbit to the fourth orbit only. So if we have electrons come from N is equal to 1 to N is equal to 2, that is the first excited state only. If it is a First excited state E n is equal to 2 but the asking what one second excited state of so this is a second excited state second excited state n is equal to what one 3 only we have clear so kinetic energy of the second excited state of each plus means n value of which you can take you have to take how much man 3 only now we have write here kinetic energy or energy here so what you write here e is equal to minus 13.6 into delta square by n square only. This is a minus 13.6 into z. E is that how much man? That is equal to 2 only. This is a 2 square by n value how much? 3 that is a 3 square only. 2 square by what man? 3 square only. So what do we get here? Minus 6.04 electron volts only. Minus 0, 6.04 electron volts. This is the uh, option 3 we have. Now we can see option 4 we have. What is the option 4 man? 
ionization potential of which one mark H plus O. So ionization, ionization energy, ionization potential of which one mark H plus the asking only. What is the formula we have? Ionization energy is equal to what is the formula we have? Thirteen point six we have thirteen point six into Z square by N square electron volts. Clear? Now they ask me for which atom I need for H plus R only. So this is the thirteen point six into Z we have how much here? Z is equal to two only. This is two square by one square we have. So thirteen point six into four we have how much we have? This is a fifteen four point four electron volts. Now we see the options here. What are the maximum we have to take? The first one energy of the ground state of H plus what you can take one. Minus 54.4. That you can take option four only. Means what you can write here for first one option four is the right answer. Second one. Second one. The potential energy of the first orbit of the hydrogen atom only. How much you got man? That is minus 27.2. Minus 27.2. Electron what is there? And option two we have. Now you can see option three. Kinetic uh, energy of the second electric state of H plus O. How much you got? Minus 6.04 ohm. You see the option one plus is given, but we take that one in the form of minus ohm. Minus you can take, we get minus 6.04 volts ohm. Then you can take option one ohm. And you can see the fourth option we have. Fourth option you can see ionization potential of H plus we have. We have much of 54.4. That is the option we got. You see what the answer for this question? We will take uh, option three of this question only. So this is the matching question. We have question number twenty-nine. See the next question, my question number thirty. Bohr model is applicable to B plus twelve. Bohr model. So this is question number thirty. We have Bohr model applicable to what we have? Bohr model applicable to B plus twelve. And uh, can you write this uh, statement? Bohr model is applicable for B plus one. Beryllium is there. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium. Beryllium atomic number how much? Beryllium is equal to four. B plus two. This is pentium number of atoms. Two atoms only. Bohr model is applicable for only hydrogen like species only. If it is B plus three, that is correct only. But B plus two, this is not applicable only. Okay. So statement one, we give an S one only. Statement one, I want a. It is a false statement. Now. See the next option we have. Second one, that is S two. Uh, total energy coming out from the light source is integral multiple of the integral multiple of which one? Energy of the one photon. Now you know E is equal to H nu. E is equal to what? H nu. No? E is equal to H nu. We will write E is equal to N into H nu. What is N here? The energy of which one? Man? Integral multiple of the each one of them. So this statement we can say is a true statement. Now we can see the next statement we have. That is yes. What is the statement? Number of waves present in the unit wavelength is called wave number. Wave number definition only is number of waves present in a unit length only. That is called a what? Wave number. That is also what? True statement. Now we can see this uh, S four statement we have. E by M ratio in a cathode ray to experiment is independent of the nature of the gas. We already discussed in the properties of the cathode ray. So, E by M ratio of cathode ray experiment is what independent of the nature of the gas. So, this is also what one true statement only. What I'm asking here? Okay, so the answer here false is there. True, true, and what? What answer will take? We will take option three for this question. Now we can see question number thirty-one. We have, according to the Bohr theory, angular momentum of an electron in a fifth orbit. You know one formula. What is the formula? Angular momentum in Bohr orbit m by r is equal to n h by two pi. M by r is equal to n h by two pi. What is the number of the fifth orbit here? N is equal to the given one mark five only. So you will write m by r is equal to five h by two pi. By h by two by can I write this one? This is a two point five h by five. Two point five h by five or me. So one answer will take. We will take the uh, option one for this question. Now we can see question number thirty.
thirty one we have. Thirty two we have uh, transition of an electron from n is equal to three to n is equal to one level preserves in the form. I like the question here. So this is we have question number thirty two. Here we know the transitions are there. These are n is equal to one, n is equal to two, n is equal to three, and I write n is equal to four. Now the electronic transition takes place from three to one to one to three, three to one. So electron is coming from third shell to one to first shell. Clear? So what they are asking here, it gives one type of spectrum. So it gives absorption spectrum or emission spectrum. Mean it gives one spectrum to emission spectrum. So why it is emission spectrum? Because the electron already in the higher energy orbit, that is the third orbit. Now, if the electron present in the higher orbit, it is not okay. Stand for a long time because due to unstable orbit. Then what the electron will do? Electron again coming from higher energy to the lower energy level. If this is higher energy level, this is what the lower energy level. The difference in the energy emitted in the form of which one? Radiation. So they can be emitted. The energy is emitted. If you want to record the spectrum, what spectrum you will get? You will get what spectrum? Ma? Emission spectrum only. So what the answer for this question means? You will take uh, option one for this question. This is question number thirty-two. See the question number thirty-two. Yeah. So R is the radius of the first orbit. Uh, okay, and uh, the radius of the nth orbit of the hydrogen atom. Okay, already you know this uh, formula. And all directly will give. Uh, formula for this question. So, if the R is the radius of the first orbit, what is the radius of the nth orbit? What you can write here? R n is how right? R n is how right? R n is equal to R n is equal to zero point five two nine into n square because z is equal to one. Z is equal to one. Which atom? A hydrogen atom only. So, directly what you write here? R suppose R is the radius. What you write here? Uh, this is a uh, R into one to right man, we are still in the right now. So what answer we take? We take option two for this question only. This is the formula that we are taking. R is already given. That is R into square one. Now we will see question number we have thirty four. The radius of the hydrogen atom in the ground state is zero point five three angstrom units. The radius of Li plus two with atomic number ground state is equal to How much they are asking for? Clear? So we can write the formula. R n is equal to then we will have zero point five two nine into the n square by z only. Clear? Then this is the formula generally. So here z only we have the number is forty here. So n is equal to one. We have R n is equal to zero point five two nine into One square by three we have R n is equal to zero point five two nine by three we have. So this is zero and here one means what we get? One one seven we get. This is zero point one seven one seven. What is R here? R is what is what here? Radius of L n plus two. Radius of this one L n plus two. What is the answer for this question? Zero point one seven angstrom units only. This is option three. For this question number thirty-four, we have. See the next question we have. Question number thirty-five. The minimum energy required for to excite hydrogen atom from its uh, ground state only. Here also we ask the energy only. Here we can use the formula E is equal to thirty point six into one by the number square minus one by the number square. So here, the minimum energy required to excite a hydrogen atom from its ground state only. Its ground state. So we take the energy levels we have. This is n is equal to one, two, three, and four. So first energy to the second energy we have. First to third we have, and first to fourth we have. They are asking regarding about the minimum energy. So this in the fourth suppose electron can be zoomed from first to fourth orbit energy is more. And here can say from one to two, one to three also energy is more, but one to two it is at what minimum energy. Maximum energy they ask can make energy equal to four. Minimum energy means what here? Here we are taking how much here four, and what we can write here? N one is equal to one I write, and the N two is equal to how much I write? I write three or four or two. I will write two more. And so that minimum energy means least n value we take. Now we can say E is equal to 
13 points is into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square only. That is equal to 13 points is into 1 minus 1 by 4. This is 13 points is into the middle of what we get now. 3 by 4 only. Now we see here what do we get here? Uh, this is 8 and we have 1. This is 9. 0, 1 we have. And this is 14.8 by 4 only. So how much you will get at approximately in the bottom? 10.2 electron so. So what is the answer? So we will get 10 point electron volt. So we will take option 4 for this question. This is question number 15. Find it. Now we see question number 36 we have. The wavelength of the charging particle that is dash the square root of the potential difference through which it is accelerated on. They are asking wavelength versus what my potential difference only. So wavelength and potential difference generally you know one formula. Lambda is equal to H by E M V1. This is you know for the expression this is a de Broglie expression only. But they are asking what my potential difference. Wavelength versus what my potential difference only. If you take here W, generally you know W is equal to Q into V right off. Q into V. We will write our name. So generally what is W? So generally K is equal to what? Half M V square. This becomes what here? W O name. So we write here half M V square is equal to U into V. This is the last this is the potential difference only. Then what you can write here? Uh, v square is equal to L. V square is equal to 2 U by M you will write on it. So here what you can write V is equal to square root of uh, 2 into 2 u by m. But here what the formula we have? Lambda is equal to h by m v only. So lambda is equal to h by this is m we have, m is there, this is square root of what you write man? 2 into 2 u by m you can write. Now they ask me here what are the relation between wavelength and acceleration? What does the potential difference only? Wavelength is what man? Wavelength is inversely proportional to what? Potential difference only. So, what are the answer for this one? The first option we have this is inversely proportional. We have once a small change here, you can see lambda is equal to h by mv. So, lambda is equal to h by this is m into this is you can write what man 2 into q by m. So, lambda is equal to m by lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 into q into m. Clear? If you take this m in what do we get? We have to into root m, we can write. Uh, numerator and denominator we cancel, what do we get here? M we will get. Now you can see what the relation here. Lambda inversely proportional to what man? Potential difference only. So what answer will we take? We will take uh, option 1 for this question. Now we see the next question 37 we have. Which of the following should be the wavelength of an electron with mass 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kilogram and velocity 1 by 10 of the light? And uh, the value of H we given 6.625 to 10 power minus 24 joules. Again, what they are asking, we have to find out that wavelength. What is the formula for wavelength, man? Lambda is equal to H by M. H already given, this is 6.625 into 10 power minus 24 joules again. And what is the mass? Mass of electron already given, that is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kilogram. Okay. And this is the velocity. What is the velocity given? Velocity given 1 by 10 power velocity of the light. 1 by 90 is there. This is you will write 3 into 10 power 8 air meter per second. You can write out. So can I write this one 3 into 10 power 7? 3 into 10 power 7 meter per second. Substitute the values in this formula. What is the value of which? 6.625. This is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joules again by 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 into this is 3 into 10 power 7 meter per second. If you do the calculation, what you get? 0 0.4426 into 10 power minus 10. That I will give uh, 2.4 basis into 10 power minus 11. What answer you will take? Uh, you will take option 3. What do you think you will get? Uh, you get a much meter only. So, what answer you will take? 37. Option 3 is the answer. 
So the next question we have that the one. I got the twenty-five grams smooth with velocity six point six into ten power four centimeter per second. Find out the de Broglie wavelength. You can use the formula lambda is equal to h by r. Mass is given twenty-five grams only. You can convert this one into kilograms. I will write here twenty-five into ten power minus three kilograms only. So here we have the centimeter per second is given. You can convert them into meter per second. I will write this one six point six into ten power two meter per second. You know one centimeter is equal to ten power minus two meter. Now each value we have six point six two five into ten power minus thirty four joules. Let us substitute the values here. Lambda is equal to six point six two five into ten power minus thirty four joules again by This is twenty five into ten power minus three into velocity. We have six point six into ten square meter second or so. Now we can do the calculation for six point six point cancel here. So we write this one one by twenty five. Right? This one by twenty five into this is ten power minus thirty four. We have this is minus three and this is a two. We will get minus one only. Minus one becomes what? Ten power one. This is meter you will get now. Lambda is equal to one point five into zero point zero four into. I will write this one ten power minus thirty three meter. We have only. I will write this one zero point four into ten power minus thirty four meter. We got. But you see the value. The units are given in centimeter only. Then I will write lambda is equal to. 0.4 into 10 power. What will get one? 10 power minus. Oh, sorry, uh, this is 0.04 only. You will get. Uh, suppose you want to write this one. 0.04 lambda is equal to what? This is a uh, 0.4 into this is 10 power. How much will get one? You see this one, zero point zero four. You will get ten four minus thirty three meter only. I will write this one four into ten four minus thirty four meter. But the answer is given in centimeter only. You can convert like this, zero point four into ten four minus thirty three centimeter because you can multiply this one how much? Hundred only. That is can convert into what centimeter? So zero point four into ten four minus thirty two centimeter only. But you see the answer is here minus thirty three given minus thirty one is given minus thirty is given. You can change the first option to minus thirty two. You will take option one for this question only. Now you can see this uh, next question we have that is question number thirty nine. Calculate the uncertainty in the velocity of a cricket ball of a mass one hundred fifty grams. And if the uncertainty in the position is uh, uh, in the order of one and seven minutes, x is given six point six into ten power minus thirty four kilogram meter square second was only. We want to ask the uncertainty in the velocity of ball. First, we have the formula: delta x into delta v greater than or equal to h by 4 pi m. We have this is the formula we have. From this, I will write delta x into delta v is equal to h by 4 pi into m only. Here, the mass is given. Mass how much given? Man? Mass is given 150 grams only. Hundred and fifty grams. We will write this is one fifty into ten power minus three kilograms. That will be right here. Fifty into ten power minus two kilograms. So, an answer in the velocity is given. How much man? One nine seven meters. So, one nine seven meters is equal to right here ten power minus ten meter. We have. They are asking here what man? Answer in the. Okay, so this is answer in the position. This is delta x only. They ask the answer to the velocity. What is that one? Delta v. They ask in the error only. And it's already given how much mass? Six point six eight two. Six point six into ten power minus thirty four kilogram meter square and second question. Substitute the values here. What is the formula you get? Delta v is equal to h by four pi m into delta x. We have delta v is equal to Six point six two five into this is ten four minus thirty four by four into pi value twenty two by seven hundred twenty two by seven hundred much man three point one four into 
This is 15 into 10 power <coughs> minus 2 into what are the delta x we have? Uh, 10 power minus 10 meter power. Let us substitute the values. After substitute the values, we can see delta x is equal to 0.035 into 10 power minus 2 into 2. This is meter second was shown and delta x is equal to 3.5. Can I write 10 power minus 2? 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 22 becomes 10 power minus 24. What is the value? What? 3.5 into 10 power minus 24 meter second inverse only. What answer will you take? Option 1 for this question. So this is for question number 39 we have. Now we see question number 40. A given orbital is labeled by the magnetic quantum number m is equal to minus 1. M is equal to minus 1. It could not be S orbital or P orbital or D orbital only. If you know for S orbital, for S orbital, L is equal to 0, L is equal to 0. You will write what the magnetic quantum number here, M is equal to L plus 1. This is 2 into 0 plus 1, 1. That means 1 how much here? M is equal to 0. M is equal to 0 for the S orbital. But the P orbital and D orbital, they have the values of there or not? If you take for P orbital, for P under 1, L is equal to 1, 1. M is equal to, we have three values, what are the rows? Minus 1, 0 and 1, plus 1 is there. If you take B orbital, if you take F orbital, the minus value, one value is, but it is not exist for which one? S orbital only. What the answer you will take? You will take option 1 for this question, that is what? S orbital. This is question number 14 we have. Next question we have, question number 41. Magnetic and quantum number specifies. Magnetic quantum number specifies mainly what? Orientation of the orbital. Principal quantum number, size and energy. Isomethyl quantum number, shape of the orbital. Magnetic quantum number, orientation of the orbital. Spin quantum number, spinning of electron only. What is your answer? Orientation of the orbital. So, now we will see for the energy level is question number 42. For the energy level in an atom, which one of the following statement is a correct? They ask them all. Clear? Which of the following statement is a correct one? 4s energy, uh, 4s of cell energy level is a higher than that of uh, 3d energy level. One. See question number 42 we have. 40 to the first one we are giving here 4s and 3d is given. I will write here n plus n value for the two orbitals. Here 4 plus 0. That means you will get how much? 4 only. You know L value for S orbital how much? 0. For 3D orbital you will write one man. This is uh, 3 plus 2. What do we get man? 5 only. Among 4 S and 3D, which one you have highest energy? 3D orbital you have highest energy and the 4D orbital only. What do you mean here? 4s energy level is higher than that of the 3d energy level. This is wrong only. No, what, are what are they given? 4s is greater than 3d. It is wrong. What are the answer generally? 3d is greater than what? No? 4s only. So this is a false statement. So the second option we have. What is the second option we have? The second principal uh, uh, energy level can have 4 orbitals and contains maximum energy electrons only. Second energy level. Second energy level is n is equal to, you will see this one. This is n is 1 here, 1, 2, and 3. And you will take here 4 like this only. 1 means you have 1 is only, 2 means what you have? This is 2s and 1, na? 2p only. So the n is equal to how many angle can exist from 2s are there and 1? 2p are there only. Here 2s means we have 1 subshell, and 2p means we have 3 subshells only. This is a 2px, this is 2py and 2pz. We have one. What are the question asked here? The second principal energy level can have four orbitals. Yes. Okay. This is 2 yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four orbitals are there. Those are one, one. Four orbitals. Four orbitals contains how many electrons? One. Eight electrons only. Eight electrons are there. Are yes. Four is there. Four into how much here? Eight electrons only. So can I say this is right? Yes. So what is the answer for this question? What do we have? Option 2 is the right answer. 43. Next question we have. The maximum number of electrons in a substrate is given by the formula. Direct formula we have. This is uh, 4 into 
four L plus two R can I get two into two L plus one R? Is the formula? Can multiply this one four L plus what two or nine? That is the direct question answer. So your option forty four we have. The electrons present in a casial of an atom will be different. Casial is there. You see, this is a K L M M casial. So here there is a difference in what man? There is a difference in one quantum number. Principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, spin quantum number. The answer is what man? Spin quantum number. Why spin quantum number? If we take casial, K means what here? One s only. One s are how many electrons? Two electrons here. Two electrons means one is clockwise direction, one is in what anti-clockwise direction only. So the fourth electron you will write S is equal to plus half. You will write and for this electron you will write S is equal to minus half. Of. You know Pauli's expression principle. Two electrons can be different means what here? The electrons in an atom cannot have us all same set of the four quantum numbers. One quantum number will be different. What is that one? That is what spin quantum number only. Suppose you want to write the quantum numbers for this one. Y is equal to one. Y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. Y is equal to plus half. Y is equal to one. Y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. Y is equal to one minus half. What is the difference there? The difference in what? Spin quantum number one. Now we'll see question number forty-five. Now, what is the forty-five question we have? Which of the following pair have the same number of orbitals or not? The first one is given nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen we have one is two, two is two, two b p. So our number is seven. Come to the oxygen we have eight only. One is two, two is two, two b four. Now the question is asking it having same number of orbitals. Here what are orbitals we have? Two s and two b is there. Here also two s and two b is there. If you compare this one, all orbitals are having same one. Come to the second option. We have oxygen and fluorine. Now. Oxygen, fluorine, oxygen. Eight. We have one is two, two is two, two is four. Fluorine. We have nine. One is two, two is two, and what? Two is five. We have two is two, two is four. Here two is two, two is five. We'll compare all the other side. What? Same. Come to the option uh, three. We have the given sodium and potassium. Sodium is eleven. You will write one is two, two is two, two p six s, three s one is there. Potassium we have nineteen. We have one is two, two is two, two p six s, three s two, three s two we have, three s two, and what will write my three six will write here, and you will write four s one. This is ten, eighteen, and nineteen. You see, both are having same set of orbitals. No. Here one s two p s two p p s there but here three p and four s also there so this is not having what same set of orbital okay so this is option three not having same set of orbital so let us see option four we have what is option four man option four we have uh, sulfur and chlorine sulfur and chlorine this is sixteen and this is seven sulfur sixteen you will write One is two, two is two, two is six. Three is two, three b four is there. Okay, chlorine we have seventeen. Ah, uh, seventeen. One is two, two is two, two b six. Three is two, three b five. Now we see three s three b three s three. Remaining orbitals are same or not? So these are also not same. Which is not having same orbital? This is one. So first option. That is oxygen and nitrogen having same electrons. Oxygen and chlorine having same orbitals. Sulfur and chlorine having same orbital. What you can take? You will take A, B, and B. So what is the answer? Now? You will take option four for this question number forty-five. See the next question, man. These questions are there. Turn your attention to page number forty-five. See the first question we have. A 0.66 kilograms of the ball is moving with a speed of 100 meter per second. The associated wavelength will be. We can find out the wavelength. So this question is related. The formula from the Broglie equation here, lambda is equal to h by m v. So h is equal to we have 
10 power minus 34 joules again. Mass is given here 0 0.66 kilograms and velocity is given 100 meter per second. Substitute the values here. Lambda is equal to 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joules again by 0 0.66 into here we have 100 also. Now I will write this one 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 by I will write this one 6.6 into 10 power. Clear? So the 6.6 points can see here. Lambda is equal to I wrote here 1 by 10 into 10 power minus 34. Okay. 1 by 10 is how much man? This is 0 0.1 into 10 power minus 34 we will write this one 1 into 10 power minus 35 so where it is option 3 1 into 10 power minus 35 meter we have we can take uh, option 3 for this question also. now you can see the next question we have question number 2 the total number of atomic articles in the 4th energy level of an atom 4th energy level Fourth energy level means what one? N is equal to 4. They are asking total number of atomic orbitals. Total number of orbitals are the formula we have. Total number of orbitals is equal to formula n square over here. So what we have? 4 square that is equal to 16 over here. Otherwise, if n is equal to 4, what can I hear? You will write 4 as 4 p. 4D and 4F only. One S orbital and a P orbital. One D orbital means here five D orbitals are there. And here we have what? Huh? Seven only. How much do we get? 16 only. This is the direct formula we need this one. Otherwise, you can take this uh, N is equal to 4 times 11. You can find out the total number of orbitals. So, what is the answer for this question? 16. 16 means we have option 3 for this question. Next you can see the question number 3, if n is equal to 6, the correct sequence for the filling up of electrons is n is equal to 6 n is equal to 6 is there, so what is the correct filling of electrons can write, you know the filling up of electrons mainly depends on n plus cell value that is from the Haubo principle only, so here I will write the uh, ns, env, n minus 1d and I write uh, n minus 3f form. Clear? Now what is the n value we have? n value 6 I will write it is 6s. It is 6p. Here 6 minus 1 how much now? 5d. Here 6 minus 2 4 means you will get 4f4. So 6s is there, 6p is there, 5d is there. Okay and 4f is there. So here uh, the electron and the orbital who's having least n plus cell value on the first step. So we want to find out the n plus cell value for this all orbital. So I will write this one n plus cell uh, value. You know L values. What are those man? 0, 1, 2, 3 will get S, P, DF. What orbital we have? 6 S only. N value 6 L value how much? 0, 6 plus 0, 1. 6 you will get only. Now Come to the 6p we have. L value for the other how much? 1. Here 6 is there. 6 plus 1 how much? 7 only. Now you can see 5 day. Here 5 is there. LP value how much? 2. 5 plus 2 we have? 7 only. Now here 4 is there and here how much here? 3. 4 plus 3 7 only. Clear? So these are 1 values. All these are 1 values man. N plus L value. So only you can see here 6 to 7 7 of these you can see. So these we have what? Same n plus l value so we in this case uh, how the electron enters into the orbital the electron enters into the orbital with the highest n value highest n value highest n value here among suppose 6p 5 4f is there electron enters into which orbital first n value is more that is for that 6 only then it comes under one 5 then it comes under one 4f only which means that we are calling as what one for efficiency. Now what I am telling here, we can see the order of the filling up of electrons only. Now we can see. 
which is among those anchor cell in this first step that is for 6 SO minus 6 SO means comes at order under NSO this is what my NS uh, NS of frequency N plus L value these are same but uh, least N value which one you have 4 F 4 and 4 F is coming from which one N minus 2 this is N minus 2 F N minus 2 of after what we have 5 D 5 D is that is what N minus 1 D N minus 1 D and lastly we think that I want the N P only so what is the answer for this question you will take option 2 NS N minus 2 F N minus 1 D and N P mainly based on what? Mainly based on N plus L value only. So what answer will take? We will take option 2 for this uh, question only. Now let us see the question number 4 we have. The energies of the E1 and E2 2 radiations are 25 electron volts and 50 electron volts respectively. The relation between the wavelengths lambda 1 and lambda 2. Clear, you know one formula. E is equal to 1 1. H nu that means you write the uh, H into C by lambda organization E inversely proportional to 1 by lambda only. So I will write the two variations means I will write E1 by E2 is equal to I will write lambda 2 by lambda 1 only. What are the E1 first energy? 25. This is 25 by second energy how much is 50. That is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. I will write it is 1 by 2. Now 1 by 2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. Lambda 1 is equal to what answer ma? 2 lambda 2. This is what if the energies are given, they are finding the relation between wavelengths only. Lambda 1 is equal to 2 lambda 2. What answer will take? We will take option 2 of this question number 4. So the next question we have 5. Uh, maximum number of electrons in a substrate with uh, L is equal to 3 and N is equal to 4 mark. L is equal to 3. N is equal to 4. You know here 0, 1, 2, 3. This is S, P, D, F, 4. Okay. So what after it is? It is a 4 F after only. So it contains maximum number of electrons. 4 F means how many more? F after you have 7 only. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is 7. 7 after are there. So, 7 after means what? Man? 7 into 2, that is equal to how many electrons? 14 electrons. So, what answer will take? We will take option 3 for this question only. Now, we see the next question. Question number 6 we have. Question number 6 is the same question uh, from uh, exercise level to question number 14. Same question only. You will see the question. You will get option 1 for this uh, question only. Now, we can see question number 7 we have. The orbital angular momentum for a p electron only. p electron for p electron what is the l value on? l value how much here? 1 only. What is the angular momentum formula we have? Angular momentum. Angular momentum is equal to h by 2 pi into square top l into l plus 1 only. This is the formula we have. L value of this one, two only. I will write this one, h by 2 pi into square root of 1 into 1 plus 1. So you will write h by 2 pi into this is a square root 2, you will write only. Clear? From this I want to write here, this is a h by, uh, what you can write now? Root 2 into pi will write only. Clear how? This 2 pi you can write 2, you can write root 2 into root 2. That root 2 root 2 cancel, then what is the one more? Root is there. So h by pi into root 2. What answer will take? So we take option 4 for this question. Yeah. Now we can see the next question, question number 8. We have the value of the flux constant is 6.63 to 10 power minus 34 joules again, and the speed of the line is 3 into 10 power 17 and nanometer per second was which value is the closest to the wavelength of the nanometer in the quantum light? Within a frequency 6 into 10 power 15 second hours only. They are asking wavelength. Wavelength means lambda. They are asking what man? Nanometer only. What are the information is given here? Flank's constant is given. H is equal to 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 joule second is given. And speed of the light also given 3 into 10 power 17 
nanometer second inverse and frequency also given mu is equal to 6 into 10 power 15 second inverse so here uh, you know one formula what here mu is equal to we have c by lambda frequency this is velocity and the wavelength only. so lambda is equal to we have c by zero. what is it uh, C R can say this is you can take in the form of C only. That is uh, E into 10 power 17 nanometer second inverse by frequency we have 6 into 10 power 15 second inverse second inverse can see here. Here 3 to 10 can see we have this is uh, 1.2 into 10 power 15 into this is 10 power minus 15 nanometer. So 1 by 2 value how much? 1 by 2 can add 0.5 Lambda is equal to 0 0.5 into This is 17, this is minus 15 How much will you get? 10 square only 10 power 2 nanometer only This I will write 15 nanometer 15 nanometer What are the answer you will take? You will take option 2 for this question only Yes, line constant already given There is no use of line constant in this question we have Next you can see question number 9 we have What is the maximum number of electrons that can be associated with the following set of uh, quantum numbers Ok, they given m is equal to 3 L is equal to 1 And m is equal to minus 1 L The question is on maximum number of electrons you have to find We have to find out the number of electrons that Maximum number of electrons we can find out now. See the quantum numbers here, n is equal to 3 is given, n is equal to 1. That can I write it 3p? Yes. Because L value 1 is there, that is 3. We are there only. N value that is 3p. 3p means how many m values are possible now? M is equal to 2L plus 1 only. Maximum quantum number m is equal to? 2L plus 1 we have, that is equal to, I will write 2 into 1 plus 1, that is equal to 3. So 3 means here 1, minus 1, 0, 1 plus 1. Minus 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 1 only. So here they give a common point number, minus 1 only, minus 1 only belongs to any one number. Suppose I am writing it is a Px and it is a Py and Pj. Suppose I write 3px, 3py and what? Pj. If we take px arbitral moment, clear? If we take px arbitral like this one and we have this is a px, this is py and pz. So this is having one of the magnetic quantum number minus one only. It can accommodate how many electrons? Two electrons only. So three px accommodate how many electrons? Two electrons. So what is the answer man? Your answer is what? Two. That is option one. Option one is what? Two. This is a question number nine we have. So the next question, question number 10 we have now. Based on the equation, E is equal to minus 2.178 into 10 power minus 18 joules, get a square by n square. Certain conclusions are written. Which is the, which one is not correct for me? So you will take uh, option 10 we have. E is equal to minus 2.178 into 10 power minus 18 joules. We have get a square by n square on it. So here they ask which of the following is not correct or Which of the following is not correct? So the first option we have uh, larger the n value, larger is the radius of the orbital. Okay? Clear? So generally radius, uh, if I directly proportional to what the generally 0 0.529 to what you can understand square by general. Radius is directly proportional to what? N value. So larger the n value, larger is the radius. So, clear? Now you can see the second option we have Equation can be used to calculate the change in energy when electron change in orbit You know, electron change, suppose E1 is there, E2 is there What are the difference you can write? Delta E is equal to E2 minus E1 you can write out Here, so equation can be used to calculate change in energy you want In the form of delta E that is E2 minus 1, E1 Now you see the third question, third option we have for n is equal to 1, the electron has a more negative energy than it does for n is equal to 6, which means that electron is more loosely bounded in the smallest allowed to the orbit we have. Clear? 
so here they are talking about here e1 and what man e6 only e1 and what here e6 are bits only so generally n value increases if n value what man increases sir e becomes less than to one e become less than to starting uh, approaches approaches what value is equals to positive value so in this case what happened here for n1 suppose you are taking here for uh, n is equal to 1 over here e1 greater than what man e6 so e1 greater than what e6 here so this is the wrong option i am going to give it so this is the answer for this question that is a uh, option 3 we have now talk to the question number 11 we have uh, what is the maximum number of orbitals that can accommodate or identify with the following quantum numbers they are asking maximum number of orbitals n is equal to the given 3 l is equal to 1 and m is equal to 0 same n is equal to l is equal to 3 is what are term my 3 p are the only because l value one that is p are the So three p are the we have m is equal to you know the formula two n plus one. This is two into one plus one three only. Three means what are the possibilities? We have minus one, zero, and plus one only. Now the question is what is the maximum number of factor that can be identified with the following one and numbers? Okay, for zero m is equal to the how many factors are possible? Only one factor is possible only. That we can take here p z to get like that. So what is your answer? Only one other result we have. Next you can see question number twelve we have. Calculate the energy in joules corresponding to the length of a wavelength forty five nanometers. Planck's constant is given six point six three and four point eight three four, and speed of the light is given only. We can find out what here. Energy only. You know one formula. E is equal to h nu. E is equal to h into c. By lambda, clear. So substitute the values we have. E is equal to six point six two five into this is ten four by this is ten four into velocity of the light is given three into ten four meter meter per second by lambda. The given forty five nanometers only. So forty five into the light in the form of meter will be the 10 power minus 9 meter. So e is equal to by the 6.625 into this is 3 into this is 10 power minus 34. This is 10 power 8. This is 10 power 9 by 45 meter. Okay. Again to the uh, simple multiplication here. 6.625 into this is 3 into this is 10 power minus 17 by we have 40. So you get here 0.44 to 10 power minus 17. You see the answers here. They give us the form of 10 power minus 18. I will write this one 4.41 into 10 power minus 18. So you see the option we have. We we'll take option four from this question. See the next question. Question number ten. The angular momentum of an electron in a d orbital is equal to. What is the formula of angular momentum? Angular momentum is equal to h by 2 by e to square root of the electric and the sum of the other one. For d orbital, for d orbital, this is the longest one. Two of it. You can write here h by 2 by e to this is square root of 2 into 2 plus 1. So you will write here h by 2 by e to this is 2 into the longest one. This is so many. So all together you will write here h bar one. You will write here h bar into root six so many. What is h bar here? H bar is equal to what I hear. H by two pi. For the answer, we will take option three for this question. Now let us see question number fourteen. We have the magnetic momentum is given uh, that is two point eight four bm. They are asking uh, the magnetic momentum value is close to which one? They are asking C R plus two, C O plus two, N I plus two, R P A plus two. Actually, this magnetic momentum concept is a secondary concept only. I'll deal. I'll write the formula. Magnetic momentum. 
magnetic momentum mu is equal to square root of n into n plus 2 what is n here n is equal to number of unpaired electrons only number of unpaired electrons in the sense single electrons only okay now let us see the given four options the first option is given cr plus 2 cr plus 2 uh, in, in the bracket they given atomic numbers only I will get the chromium configuration. Chromium we have 24. I will write here argon 4s1 and 3d5 we have. So Cr plus 2 means uh, we can remove how many electrons? For 2 electrons only. The first remove takes place from the SR dot, then we can go for the Cr dot only. After removing what I get here, I will get argon 4s0 and 3d4 only. How this 3d4 is there? You know, Cr dots are 5. Here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So here what is the name? Number of unpaired electrons are in the single electrons only. So n value moments here 4 only. Now magnetic momentum mu is equal to square root of 4 into 4 plus 2. We will get uh, this is 6 to 6 into 4 how much man? 24 only. So root 24 uh, value we have. Uh, 4.89 this is uh, 4.89 approximately so what is given they given 2.84 that is not close to 4.89 one more is given next we have cobalt only that is cobalt plus 2 cobalt we have 27 only you will write the configuration argon 4s2 3d7 cobalt plus 2 is equal to argon 4 is 0 and we have 7 Now we will see D7 we have. How the D7 configuration is there? Okay, 5 articles we have. Here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And you will write what here? 6 here you will write 7. So n is equal to how much man? 3 more. n is equal to 3 by 3. 1, 2, 3 single electrons, how many are there? 3 are there. Now we can write mu is equal to square root of n into n plus 2 we will write square root of 3 into 3 plus 2 that is equal to square root of 15 so square root of 15 value we have 3.87 3.87 now we see the next option we have third option ok ni plus 2 is equal ni plus 2 so, nickel, what are the configuration for the atomic number is 28? You will write argon 4s2 pd8. Ni plus 2, what do you get? Argon 4s0 pd8 only. So, we write d8 only. So, d8 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, you will write here 6. 7, 8. I will write n equal to how much 2? Why? 2 electrons are there. Now we write the formula. Mu is equal to square root of n into n plus 2. So mu is equal to, we will write 2 into 2 plus 2. What do we get now? We will get the root 8 only. So root 8 means approximately we will get here 2.8. So you will take what is the answer for this question number 14 you will take that is third option only that is n9 plus 2 we have. Now come to question number 15 we have uh, the number of d electrons in Fe plus 2 is not equal to the number of electrons of each of the following. We have to find what is the number of d electrons for which are in the Fe plus 2 only. I and we have 26 only. So you will write argon 4 s 2 36 Fe plus 2, suppose you are writing argon 4s0 3d6 so d6 means how many electrons we have 6 electrons are there d electrons that is how many 6 electrons only now we see the first one mm -hmm. d electrons in Fe is equal to 26 d electrons Fe we are writing what are the configuration of Fe argon 
4 is to 3 is 6. How many electrons are there? 6 electrons are there. So this is what? Equal amount. They ask in the question not equal. From the next option we have P electrons in neon, that is equal to neon. What is the neon now? 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to. They ask in what electron? P electron. P electrons how many are there? 6 is there. So this is equal or not equal? Equal amount. Third option you can see. Yes, electrons in magnesium. Magnesium, you will write 1 s2, 2 s2, 2 p6, 3 s2. Yes, electron. Here s is there, here s is there, here s is there. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6 electrons are there. This is the fourth option. We have what is the fourth option? P electrons in chlorine. Chlorine, we have 17. 1 s2, 2 s2, 2 p6, 3 s2, what now? So you will find one. What are the last P electrons? Here P electrons 5 is there and here 6 is there. So 6 plus 5, that is equal to how much now? 11 only. So this is what? Wrong option. So they ask which is the following is not equal which? Option 4 is what? Not equal now. Now this is question number 16 we have. Two electrons occupying the same orbital are distinguished by what a quantum number that is spin quantum number only. We already discussed this regarding about the spin quantum number only. Okay, what is your answer for direct answer please? Spin quantum number. Spin quantum number. Now we will see we have question number 17. We have. Uh, which one of the following is a wrong statement only? The first one is given uh, Heisenberg answer in principle law. How do you given here? Delta T into delta T gamma are equal to H by 4 by is given. But we know Heisenberg answer in principle what you can know Delta X into uh, M into delta T gamma are equal to H by 4 by only. But how do you call people you get uh, this uh, delta T and the delta U only? So let us you can uh, uh, see this one. Now we write here uh, delta x into what we have delta x into m into delta v is given. Delta x into m into delta v gamma are equal to h by 4 pi only. So generally we have to write here <coughs> yeah, delta x into m into delta a into t gamma are equal to h by 4 pi we have h by 4 pi only. So what is here delta B you will write? Delta B is equal to you will write delta A into delta A. That is acceleration into what change in the time moment. So from this I am writing here delta X into F into delta T that is equal to H by 4 by M because you know F is equal to M. So M D in the form you will write here change in acceleration that you will write in the delta A only. So delta X into F into delta T that is equal to H by 4 by from this you will write it is delta E into delta T greater than or equal to H by 4 by This is the other form of which one? Eisenberg uncertainty principle moment. Here, next you can see the next option we have. Okay, and that is option 2 we have. Uh, half field and full field orbitals having greater stability due to greater exchange energy and greater symmetry and more balance arrangement only. You know. How field and complete field configurations are stable because of the two regions. What are those? Those are one is how field because of each one symmetry, and one more is what exchange of energy only because of two regions. That is also what you can say. That is also we can say that is the correct answer only. Now we can say uh, the third option we have the energy of the 2s orbital is less than the energy of the 2p orbital in case of hydrogen like spaces. Hydrogen like spaces. What they are comparing? They are comparing what ma? Option they are right here. Two s and two p only. They are talking about which one here? Energy only. Energy mainly depends on which one ma? Principally quantum number n value only. Energy depends on. Energy depends on principal quantum number. Energy depends on principal quantum number. What we have ma? N only. N increase energy increases, but here. N is same. N is same with Chaturdharma. For 2S and 2 p what what is same? N is same. N is same is what here? The energy of 2S is equal to what? 2P only. But what is given? 2S is less than 2P. This is the wrong answer only. Clear? What is your answer? 
So what is the wrong statement among those they are asking? The wrong statement among those is what? Option 3 we have. Fourth option you can see. Deep broccoli they will have that is lambda. You can write it clearly that is lambda is equal to h by m. Here is also one correct answer only. So you will take option 3 for this uh, wrong statement only. You can see next we have question number 18. Uh, which one is the wrong statement? Total orbital angle of momentum electron is s orbital is equal to 0 1. Why s orbital is 0? Because for s orbital, the L is equal to what? 0. Angle of momentum, what is the formula? h by 2 by n square root of L a to L plus 1. L value is equal become what? 0. So we have right here angular momentum. Angular momentum is 0. That is the correct statement. See the second option we have. An orbital is designated by the three quantum numbers, an electron is designated by the four quantum numbers. Why? We are adding the spin quantum number, one more extra for one electron only. So that is also correct statement. You see the option 3 we have. What is option 3? Option 3 we have uh, the configuration of nitrogen atom is 1s2. Uh, the configuration of the nitrogen atom is given. What is the configuration we have? This is 1s2 and this is 2s2. And we have two p three one. This is one s. This is two s. And this is two p. One s given two electrons. Two s is given one man. Two electrons only. You see the two p configuration we have. So here one and here one. Here one is given. You can see the two p orbital. Two electrons in a clockwise direction. One electron in an anti-clockwise direction only. Because all the electrons can be present in one one direction most of all. That is one clockwise direction only. Okay, according to the what configuration the electron can be present in clockwise direction. But what is given here? They give an anti-clockwise direction only. Okay. So this is what wrong statement among those that is uh, option 3 will take. The m value for decay to square argument is what? 0. What is your answer? Option 3 for this question only. Okay. So these are the neat and A B M T questions from your material. So such a pattern objective is completed all.